good evening. My name is Frederick Kwashiga Ebiji, a member of Ghana Communications Technology University BCE Group 19. Uh, we'll be working on a, D a database social networking system and I'd like to call upon my group members to introduce themselves as we go on through this presentation. Hi, I'm Diana Koda. Hello guys, my name is Randy Mesa. Hi, my name is Malik. Hi guys, my name is Abdullah Mumuni Subro. Hi, I'm Alfred Odaminyakon, Group 19. Lonely, looking for a stable relationship with someone of your own interest and traits, trying to have some fun, or you're just a better texter in person. Look no further, for you are in all lacks. Vibes is your go-to application. The name of our social networking application is Vibes. How many dating sites have you seen around? Many, right? As data modelers, we are more interested in the data model underneath the site than the site itself. Online dating is something very popular these days, and there are so many sites which provide these kind of services. According to research, 84% of the people who use dating sites end up in a stable room. Some situation. people have positive and excellent experiences with online dating that even end up in satisfying relationships. Some people just want to have fun and some people want to make some friends. But there are some people who just want a traveling companion. <laughs> Vibe, which is our dating site, is expected to create almost perfect matches. An average user normally considers looks and interests to be the two most important factors when finding a suitable match. Our dating site will offer top-notch experiences, allowing users to understand everything by glancing at the screen. Along with a visually attractive design, the site will allow users to complete their tasks faster and more clearly. This means that you will be, we will be conducting a background check on all users and figure out a means to verify that the information provided by them is indeed correct. Okay, so Randy Mesa here and I'm here to explain the ER diagram. So our ER diagram is split into three sections, subject areas to be specific. With a, we have the user account. So the user account, as you can see, this gives us the gender of the person, the relation that the person is interested in, the relationship type of the person. Every user can insert more than one photos. Then we have grades and blocks. These grades and blocks, let, let me zoom in so that we can see what we are talking about yes yeah, so grace and blocks so when you have a conversation with somebody on our platform you'll be able to grade the person out of five so the accumulative grade of the person will give a person a, a final grade then anybody who doesn't fit your criteria or is very rude to you you can block that person so that's about grades and blocks. Then we have conversations. So first of all, every user can create a conversation and add participants or a group of participants, which will include the message that they are communicating about. So our project to be based on the social networking database system, where our main focus is on our database system. Now we'll be able to draw out queries and functions uh, with the help of Microsoft SQL Server and Visual Studio as our front end. We now go to our SQL Server. So this is our actual this is our data server we use 
we use SQL Server that was provided by Microsoft, and these are all the tables we created for the. I think it's loading stuff. These are all the tables you see. We have the block user, which has these columns the ID column, this is the, our primary key. That we have the user account ID, the ID block. So, all these are our entities. You can also call them tables. And for our main thing we are focusing on right now is the user account. So, the user account, anytime you sign up, you have to be able to input all your information your first name, your last name, your gender, your details your username and everything so that anytime we query from the database it will show all this information on the profile page so now let me show you how it works so that we know how we were able to make it work so now this is our home page when you open our app this is the first thing that comes so you have two options here either you log in if you have an or if you already have an account or you sign up so let's sign up because like, we are doing this for testing purpose. So our first name we can put we can put our first name here. That my first name is Malik. My last name is Summer. The username I'll just use Malik Summer. And for the password. You can you can hide it while you type. So um, let me hide it while I'm typing. But I'm using a simple thing so that this is just for testing purposes. Okay. So our date of birth is just just start into anything you want. We are just using for testing purposes. So I won't actually put my real date over here. So the gender, there's a drop down for the country. There's a list of countries here. You just type GHA because I'm in Ghana right now. For my email, I just type my email. Okay, this is our bio. This is a section that you talk about yourself. Okay, so for the profile photo section, you can select any photo you want. So for here, I'll be selecting my photo to use as my profile picture. Um, okay, um, I think that's okay now. So now we create the account and you see our accounts have been successfully created. So now what we do is we go to the login page. So our login page, we use the username we created and the password we did. And now once we are successfully logged in, this is our, this is our page, this is our landing page. You see this, this number, we didn't put any age, but we queried, uh, we made a query that will return the age anytime we put our date of birth. And this is our username, our full name. We made a query. We separated its first name and last name, but a query made it like this. And this is our location, and this is your gender. So you can find people, you can you can send messages, and this is your profile. So uh, one thing we've not done yet is about the messages app. So we need to add some networking things, but this is just a prototype, so we are not there yet. So now, once everything is worked out, you can just log out from your information. And let me show you how everything was done. We used Microsoft SQL, the Microsoft Studio Visual Studio, and I think it has an integrated SQL option. So let me show you um, the Server Explorer. This is where we can find all our database resources. So these are our tables. So the user accounts, we can find all the data entered here. So it show the table data. So it's loading. So um, this is all the information now. The database table. 
these are all information so the first name last name ev everything after the query so then query inserted all this into the database and we queried out we brought the data out into our profile page so this is how everything works this is all our queries and we open a connection and this is our code for everything we use all this so this is how our database is actually working so we can input data and retrieve data from the database and this is our social networking database we mainly focus on the database aspect because that's what we're intended to do so now this thing is worked out we can look further to expanding our our app to make it more convenient okay. and have it and hello so this was the full presentation for group 19 and i hope everybody enjoyed our projects right here so thanks everyone for um, watching our presentation we hope everyone will leave some likes and comments under the section below this offering our comment i'm signing out